What's up everybody, it's Xenzi here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install my latest graphics pack. This graphics pack is going to be available only for my Patreon members, Swimmer and Swimmer Plus. I'll put a link below to my Patreon if you want to check that out. So first things first is once you download the graphics pack, you need to extract it. I use WinRAR, you can use whatever you want. Once you've extracted it, you want to open it up and the first step is to link your Discord. This is a very important step. If you haven't done this already, I definitely recommend doing this so then you can get automatic access to my Discord and the role that you actually purchased. And you'll basically get access to these private servers just over here. So once you do that, you want to move on to the next step, which is installing Pure and Custom Shaders Patch full version. Custom Shaders Patch CSP is basically for the rain effects and other features, and Pure is basically the weather mod. They're both very essential. If you haven't got these already, I'm going to quickly link a, a video below in the description to install those. The video is going to be by Peter, the creator of Pure. So check that out and come back here once you're finished. So if you already have those installed, you can now install my PP4, Silly Realism. To install this, you have to manually drag the system folder into the circle server directory folder. If you don't know where that is, you can go to Steam Library. Click our set of cursor just to the left, properties, installed files, browse. This will open up the root directory folder. Um, I tend to just save it just over here. And then you basically just have to drag the system folder just like here into an empty space. And if it comes up replace, just click replace and this will install the filter. Now to check everything is installed and the filter is enabled, open up content manager. Go to settings, set a course of video, and under post processing, you want to enable Exilia Realism on the filter tab just here. So, I'm going to quickly show you how to change the settings for my PP folder. You want to first head over to the right, find the tabs, and pure PP app, open up, and then head over to the script. Once you're in the script tab, you'll find all my settings here. I tend to change the adjustments or the exposure quite a lot, depending on the scenery and the weather. Uh, there's tone mapping settings, gamma, glare presets, bloom, reflections, light emissives, got some camera effects. And my favourite is the colour grading presets. Uh, I tend to use grey a lot, and uh, I also use cinematic and exhibit spec a lot. You can also adjust the, the settings here as well, the further adjustments. We have some more world settings here. Uh, these can also be changed and if you don't know if you make a change you can right click with your mouse to reset the adjustment after that you want to move on to the next step which is the video setting presets i tend to use ultra depends on your pc specs i'm just going to list mine here so to install them you just want to double click them it will load this up and then you just want to click apply and save and for the CSP presets, it will be the same thing. And you're just going to click apply save here. So once you've installed the video and CSP settings, you can now move on to the next steps. I'm not going to cover these in this video, they're very simple to install. So uh, it's basically my neck effect settings in Chase Camera Mods, uh, but we'll cover quickly the reshape preset and how to install it. So if you click the how to install folder, Double click reshade setup.exe, head over to this one here, ACS, my direct X 10, 11, 12, next, and then down here you want to click browse, and where we have the actual graphics pack downloaded, you want to open it up, go to reshade presets just here, and then open it, and then you want to click next, this will download the preset. Once it loads, we'll go into a game and I'll show you how to basically make sure this is enabled. So let's quickly go into a single player game. So once you've launched into the game, you want to click the home button on your keyboard to open up Reshade. I just click skip tutorial and there we have it. So these are the settings. Uh, I'll quickly show you a photo of what it looks like with and without the Reshade presets. So 
So a very important thing to keep in mind with this Rouge preset is I am using a depth of field preset or effects and this can be toggled on and off. It's cinematic DOF just here. Uh, with this effect it will have the also focus point in the center of the screen. So the best thing to do, if I can show you here, the best thing to do is to go into odd molding settings and lower the pitch so then the center of the screen will be inside so once you've installed everything i do have an optional uh, optimization folder um, you don't have to use this if you don't want to but it's basically just to boost performance especially for those who are running lower or medium end species so that is pretty much the graphics pack complete it is very simple and quick to install uh, one thing to do is join my Discord server. If you do like certain one of my videos, I now have a, a filter showcase channel uh, where you can install, like, copy and paste my exact PP filter settings just here. For example, this video here. I put all the settings just over here. So I'm going to update this, um, and every single video I post, I basically upload all the filter settings so you can get the exact same look as me.